Okay, so let me be quick with this video. Okay, so what are the pros of virgin human hair? The first pro I would say is that it's ethnically sourced. It's directly from the donor, the hair donor, and whatever. The second is it will last you for years with proper care. And with One Enjoy Lux, we teach you how to make your hair last for a lifetime instead of it lasting for years or a few years. And then it will not tangle up, mat up after washes. It just gets better and better. That's what you would expect when it comes to virgin hair. It's not supposed to tangle up or mat up. It resembles your natural hair the most. The hair strands are full, which makes the bundles look thick and healthy. So it has that natural texture, it has that natural sheen. So you would expect to have more hair than you would with fake human hair on a particular weft. It has the same characteristics as your natural hair. It looks and feels like your own hair. It comes in straight, wavy and curly. If it's from India, that's where we get our hair from. The hair that we offer is straight, curly and wavy. You can curl, low dry, perm, relax, flat iron, color just like you would with your own And then the cons of virgin hair is it's hard to get, it's very expensive, it's very hard to find hair, virgin hair in the market or to find a hair donor or a hair supplier. People who find, who collect hair for you, it's very, very hard and it's rare. Um, it's high maintenance, meaning you have to care for the hair just like you would with your own natural hair. If you don't like washing or conditioning on a regular basis, then this hair is not for you. It comes dry and fizzy, hence the natural shine or the natural sheen of the hair. It does get tangled like it would with your natural hair. So, but that is something that you can fix and work out. We will be showing you with one enjoy likes how you can bring back your wigs back to life curly virgin hair is the hardest hair to maintain it's not for everyone it's one thing that's a disclaimer that i'd like to say it's not it's the hardest to maintain um it's just like natural just like natural curly hair it can get damaged if you put too much heat on it I personally use curly hair. I never really put heat on curly hair. I'd probably go for the wet look or sleek it down. Just like I did with my natural hair and stuff if I wanted to style curly hair. It reacts to the environment. So sometimes you can walk outside and the hair decides to fizz up just like real hair. So those are the pros and the cons of virgin hair. So the pros and the cons of processed hair. The pros of processed hair. It's a lot more shinier than virgin hair. It's ready to wear out of the package. It looks beautiful when you just, when you first get it, that's because it's processed and it's supposed to look appealing to the eye. It's cheaper and easier to get than virgin hair. It's very, very easy. It's very, very common in the human hair market. That's one thing I would say. Yeah, the curl patterns are well defined. So it comes as pictured. So you, if you see it online, that's how you get the hair, you know. Um, it can look just as good as virgin hair with a good hair stylist in the beginning it's super low maintenance because the hair is processed to keep the hair cuticles closed um, for a certain period 
So if you're this kind of person who's who's a low maintenance person, you don't really like taking care of hair or looking after the hair or having the patience to look after hair, then processed hair is definitely for you. And then the cons of processed hair. It's poorly sourced. It's not directly from the donor. It's probably like, as I explained, it's from hair salons or, you know, damaged hair or, you know, fiber hair or synthetic hair mixed with virgin hair. It doesn't last that long, especially when it comes to washing it. It doesn't last for a very long time. That's why it gets tangled up because the hair silicone is being removed, it's being washed out and the real hair texture of the hair comes out after a few washes. Um, the hair will last you for three to six months if being washed on a regular basis. As soon as you start to wash it, it starts to dull down and starts tangling up to a point where you have to get a new one. Like with this hair, this is a kind of hair that you need to buy on a day-to-day -day basis. Sounds familiar? Pretty sure. Um, the wave patterns disappear after you wash it. So if you're buying um, wavy hair or curly hair, it's going to shift from curly to wavy then straight because the natural texture of processed hair is probably going to be straight. So it's going to lose its curl or its wave that it's not going to be as wavy or curly as you bought it the first time. Even after straightening it, the wave will automatically go away. Um, it sometimes comes in a chemical smell. So when, sometimes when you're buying uh, processed hair, they will, it will come in a chemical smell instead of a natural um, hair smell or no smell at all. It will come in and have that chemical smell. That's how you can tell that the hair is processed. Um, it's usually very thin compared to virgin hair because the hair strands are so fine. Um, some hair is dyed, so the water may change color, mostly brown with the first wash. So there's a time I was like, I bought processed hair and when I washed it the first time, the water turned brown. I was like, why is it brown? That's to show that the hair is dyed and it's processed hair. And that kind of hair is going, the real texture is going to come out eventually with a few more washes. So watch out for that. Um, it's heavier than virgin hair since it's less dense and not naturally full. So that's what I would say about the pros and the cons of virgin and processed hair.